Lost dog returns home with lumpy skin. Then vets tell the owners. One of the saddest things about our beloved pets is that they can't tell us when they're in pain or where the pain may be. However, the best pet owners who are close to their pets will always be able to read the subtle signs that not everything is okay. Shauna Bauer has worked for an animal rescuer in Florida for more than 30 years. She loves her job and does it well. She knows everything there is to know about getting an animal out of a tricky situation, whether that be a dog in an abusive home or a cat that's stuck somewhere in a tree. But this case was the most extreme and heartbreaking of them all. Shauna Bauer had become known within the local area for her loving nature and passion for animal justice. It was because of this reputation that people would often get in touch with her if they felt an animal was in danger. She often received many calls from people about all sorts of difficult and upsetting situations involving animals. But Shauna was touched by the confidence people had in her and wanted to make sure she did everything in her power to help every animal in danger. One day, someone got in touch with her about an abandoned dog that would soon become known as Honeybee. Someone contacted Shauna after they saw a dog that was very evidently astray walking around aimlessly in the local area. They tried to approach the dog in order to help it, but it was clearly terrified of humans. They decided it was time to contact a professional and that Shauna was the most suitable person to deal with the situation. When Shauna arrived, she knew the dog in question had reason to be fearful. Shauna made her way over to the neighborhood in question. The dog was still very much in fear of anyone that came near it and kept her distance. Shauna didn't know just how exactly she was going to be able to get the dog on a leash as every time she came near the dog it retreated Fortunately Shauna's three decades as an animal rescuer had seen her deal with some very challenging situations And she was prepared to wait until the bitter end before she gave up Shauna made sure there was food and water in plain sight for the dog and she was pleased to see that the dog was still healthy enough to eat and drink She was absolutely running for me Shauna told the show right this minute Deciding that I'm going to get away from this person and I'm going to swim if I have to The case was a particularly noteworthy one for Shauna Which is saying something considering she's been an animal rescuer for over three decades That's a testament to just how serious the situation was and the story just gets more and more heartbreaking from here on out Shauna later named the dog honeybee But she'd seen this kind of behavior in many dogs over her long career and she knew exactly what had happened she dealt with dogs who had been so severely abused that they were totally wary of humans Had honeybee also been subjected to an abusive owner? It certainly seemed to be the case as the way she was behaving seemed to indicate that she had experienced some kind of trauma Evidently Shauna was able to get closer to the dog without it running for the hills But upon closer inspection Shauna realized something was seriously wrong However, Shauna noticed something strange the dog was covered in small lumps. She wondered what had caused them were they a kind of birthmark or did they have far more sinister explanation? Although she was an expert in rescuing animals. There was no way she could tell what exactly the lumps were She had never seen anything so extraordinary in her entire career Not only was she able to get closer to the dog, but soon enough honeybee let her stroke her It may have been a touching moment, but it was also a concerning one It was a beautiful moment. It had taken a long time, but honeybee had let her in just a little Stroking a dog is such a great way for a person to bond with a pooch and to deepen their connection However, Shauna began to feel many bumps within honeybee's fur. It was alarming. Did honeybee have some kind of disease? As soon as she was able to Shauna took honeybee to the nearest vet in order to finally get to the bottom of her lumpy skin However, she was very worried that there was something seriously wrong with the dog. The lumps didn't look good Just when Shauna thought she discovered the most heartbreaking of dog cases the results came through The vet moved a magnet across honeybee's body and she noticed something very very eerie There was something inside of honeybee that was attracting the magnet as her skin started to pull Had she swallowed metal? What else could it have been? How could metal possibly have gotten into the dog's body? It was extremely peculiar The x-ray results revealed some deeply distressing news after an x-ray examination on the dog it became clear that the lumps were not due to illness The truth was far more disturbing than that the bumps were shotgun pellets 
someone had shot the dog dozens and dozens of times, causing her body to now contain all the pellets that she'd been shot with. But how many pellets were inside of her? The x-rays looked like constellations. Unfortunately, it wasn't just that her body contained pellets. She also had quite seriously infected wounds from being shot. The vets commented that this was the worst case they'd ever seen. I don't think anybody expected it to be that severe, Shauna told right this minute. The more they learned about the injuries that Honeybee sustained, the more shocked they became. It was all very startling. The damage that the shotgun had caused had spread from her head down to other parts of her body. Anytime you hear of something, an infection or disease spreading, you know that it's bad news. When an infection spreads, it's a very telling sign that the patient has a fair chance of not making it through. In fact, the vet soon found hundreds of pellets all around her body. It was startling and horrendous find. The sheer number of pellets meant this was no accident. Some cruel individual had taken aim and shot honeybee as many times as they could. It was beyond belief that anyone would want to hurt this adorable young pup. Shauna was absolutely distraught that anyone could be so cruel to this poor defenseless dog who'd done absolutely no harm to anyone. In my opinion, someone intentionally shot her, the vet told right this minute. Although it would be nice to think it was all an accident, this simply wasn't the case. Someone had used honeybee for some kind of sick target practice. Thankfully, the shotgun pellets were starting to come out of honeybee's body on their own. This meant that they didn't need to be surgically removed. Unfortunately, honeybee's tortures were never found. Hopefully, one day there will be some sort of lead, some witnesses that come forward to bring these disgraceful cowards to justice. No one should be able to get away with harming any living being. After a slew of bad news, some good news is in order. Vets have stated their belief that Honey Bee will fully recover from the wounds she sustained as a result of the attack, although she may never be able to fully trust humans ever again. After the whole ordeal, the television news show, right this minute, learned of the distressing story and knew they just had to make the public aware. The hosts of the show expressed their shock at the fact Honey Bee was even able to survive her traumatic ordeal. Honey Bee's story was also depicted in a YouTube video in March of this year, which over 20,000 people watched. The world, just like Shauna, was distraught that such a horrific thing could happen to such a beautiful and loving dog. It's so horrible and very sad what people do to animals, someone said on Facebook. God bless you all for saving the dog. I hope she finds a loving home very soon. A Facebook commenter said, thank you for helping this poor baby, praying for a forever loving home for the doggy. Bauer's goddaughter shot the video in order to detail Honeybee's distressing story, but there's been some hope to come out of it. In the video, Honeybee can be seen playing with several other dogs and sitting calmly next to several people. The healing process truly is underway, both physically and mentally. I mean, look at her, Bauer said to write this minute. Would you ever want to do anything to this beautiful dog? With each new day, Honeybee will make progress in terms of overcoming her trauma. She's still largely mistrustful of humans, but like with all beings that experience abuse, she needs time to heal. And Shauna is hoping that it won't be too long until she finds her forever home.